So the SRA came about, and first of all, the SRA stands for Strategic Research Area, and the one I was running was in international development and inclusive innovation, but to cut that mouthful out, we'll just call it the SRA. So that was initiated by the university, and I think the Vice-Chancellor at the time had an idea that we have a number of areas of excellence across the university, and one of those was international development. So we were charged with kind of coming up with a a kind of framing for that SRA, which we, we did around inclusive innovation, which is the idea that if you're to sort of bring about development in the global south, that that's not going to be done by sort of very top down innovation from kind of big corporations, but actually people who live in those areas and work in those areas often have their own solutions to the problem. So the the research agenda was really how do you work with those indigenous kind of creativities and then, you know, bring that to bear in policy rather than imposing policy solutions on those people. So one of the big successes of the SRAs has been to break down barriers that, that can exist between groups that have different skill sets and getting people to work together. And I think this has been really key because the major societal challenges that the world face require these large teams to come together to bring people that have got different perspectives and and can bring different skills to solve those problems um, together. So if we take international development, naturally these projects have a, a very large scale um, they're, they're required to have an understanding of different parts of the world where the challenges can be manifested in different ways. And so I think the, the ability in areas like international development to bring a number of people from across the university together, to combine them with people outside of the university that have important skills that they can also bring, and then really focus those groups on challenges across the world is so important for what this SRA has achieved. Some of the key achievements of the SRA were first and foremost a number of successful bids for external funding. So we had 32 successful bids in total out of a large number of applications. And I think the total value of those was around 20 million successful bids. We also held a very successful webinar series over the course of those five or six years. Um, And one of the things we tried to do was to put the OU at the centre of of intellectual debate. So we hosted in 2019 the Development Studies Association annual conference, which brought 450 delegates to the campus in Milton Keynes. And finally, we had a a newsletter to sort of create that sense of community within the OU, but also went externally. And I think we had about 80 newsletters over that same period. What was really exciting about some of the research we did through the SRA was the way that it fed into teaching. So for example, we've got a big program of work around what we call the rising powers. That's how China and and other countries are are reshaping what we understand by global development. And that became a major part, for example, of a level two course, undergraduate course in development studies. Likewise, we've done a lot of work around the governance of innovation, whether that's in the healthcare sector or in agriculture. And that then became a major part of our master's programme, which has been aimed at professionals seeking to work in the international development sector across the globe. So there's a number of ways, both kind of in our formal teaching, which we've tried to, to bring that research to bear. The REF, or the Research Excellence Framework, is, is a way by which the government judges the quality and output of the research of different institutions. The SRA supported the Open Universities REF in a particular way. So one of the ways in which you judge is on the environment that is created around your research. That's not just what research gets done, but how it's supported. So clearly, the SRA was a major investment in the research environment at the Over University. We had dedicated project managers, bidding teams, events organisers, and all those people, including myself, came together to be able to give the kind of support that individuals needed or teams of individuals needed to sort of progress their own research. So we scored really highly in um, our environment score for the REF. We came top in the Open University and second only in the country in that particular unit of assessment for international development. So without that, I don't think we would have done so well. In the future, I'd like to build on the the really excellent work that the SRAs have done. And in particular, learn about how we can retain that knowledge of how to build big interdisciplinary teams um, to solve major societal challenges. Mm